Ve kirif. Hi view. Welcome to the interview. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through geography form three, lesson number two. The topic it is statistical method. I'm your tutor, Lucy Mato. Welcome. Our lesson goes today. We are going to construct a cumulative background. Then we talk about the advantages and disadvantages of using cumulative background. Let us go to the example. Uh, the table below shows the number of tourists visited different in Tanzania. Use it to draw the compound bar graph. So we have the graph, the data there. Uh, we have the data that is 1998. We have Nikumi, Terengate, Seregiti. And Maniere. Those are the areas where the tourists visited. Uh, we have 12 of them visited in 1998 at Mikumi. Then Taragete they were 18. Then Seregeti they were 3. And Maniere they were 10. Then 1999 we have the data is provided there. Then 2000, then 2001 and 2002. In our previous lesson, we said the first step when constructing a cumulative bar graph, you are supposed to get the cumulative data. And that is what uh, we have there, getting the cumulative of 1998, 1999, 2000, 2001, and 2002. We have, in 1998, we have the data is given there, uh, where we have a cumulative of 43, 1999 we are 46, 2000 we are 48, 2001 we are 59, and 2002 we have 68. Uh, this is the way you are supposed to draw it. Remember we said the next step it is drawing the x and the y axis. After drawing the x and y axis, next one it is getting the scale. We have already the axis, which is inside the box. We have the y axis and the x axis. Then from there, we have the, the, the spaces that we have decided that we should arrive uh, uh, between each bar. We have it, it is calculated there, and we have left it. Then 1998, you can be able to see the bar cumulatively, how it looks like. Right. The total is 43, but they are the subdivision. So we are for Mikumi, you can be able to see it is the purplish. Then Tarigiti, it is the greenish. Then we also have the Serigiti, which is red, and Maniara, which is black. That is the, the key which is giving us. So when we come to representing the red data, uh, you need first of all to have the, the scale, then from there you get the outline, you can be able to see the first one, it was 63, then the next one, the outline is there, 69, 49, not 69, then we have the highest, which was 69, you can be able to see which was 2002, so that is the way you are supposed to get the outline of the bars, then we subdivide it. Uh, then you can be able to see that finally we have the number of the tourists in thousands, then the year, that is the x-axis and the y-axis, what it represents. Now, how do we interpret it? Uh, we first of all, look at the, observe the trade of the bus, how are they uh, moving, the churches. So that is uh, the first interpretation. Then. We commute, compute the trade of an individual variable. Now, we, after computing the trade of the total varies, the largest, the smallest, like that. Then from there, we compute individually for Maniara, which was broke. How is it? The graph. 
that becoming smaller, that growing bigger from 1998 to 2000, or it is becoming smaller. So we go to the individual data now. Then we making the comment on each variable. Then, for example, if at all we have the, the, that kind of data, I have a graph there, we can be able to look at it. For example, we have the coffee. There was no coffee uh, in 1991 product produced. That was nothing that was exported. But we can be able to say that tea was exported the five years it was exported. Then we can stand and say that coffee, 1990, it was the least exported. The year when it was the least exported, but it continued to increase. Even though in 1991, it was not exported. Then when we come to the wheat, we talk about the wheat. Then from there, we can talk about the maize. So we, first of all, look at the, 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 the outline of the bus. For example, 1991, we had the rest exported commodities. Then the, the year that we exported the largest quantity is 1993. That is the way we can interpret that one. We go by looking at the advantages. Different variables can be represented in one bar. Number two, we have the total of components for individual years are clearly brought out. Then three, they represent a clear comparison of production, uh, as you can be able to see from the image. Then disadvantages, we have their construction procedure involves a lot of calculation. We need to get the cumulative. Variables of different kinds are pressed in one bar, giving a false impression. Then three, interpreting the graph present difficulties for the bars are cumulative. Then bars represent many items and need for the key. Uh, this is the data that you are supposed to draw the activity. This is the information. You need to have it. Then you draw the you saw that assignment. The table brochure above shows crop production in Kenya for a period of five years, a thousand kilograms. Use it to answer the question. Use cumulative bar graph to represent the data. That is the assignment. For more information, before you get into the more information, we go to the reference. You can re get us through the KRB. A reference, you KRB 2003. Then, for more information, you can contact us through the SMS, YouTube, Facebook, or even the Twitter. Stay tuned to your TV. Thank you.